Hey everybody and welcome back to Kimbo's Comfort Kitchen and today we are going to do spaghetti squash. Roasted spaghetti squash, probably like you've never had before. This is the one dish that you do have to do the day of your uh, holiday dinner for a turkey or whatever. But it's worth it. It doesn't take much work and it's pretty darn tasty. So let's get going. Okay, let's get started on this simple but amazingly delicious dish. You're going to need a sharp knife to cut through the squash, as you can see here. This is about the toughest part of the entire process, like that. And then what I do is I scrape out the center. I've already preheated the oven, by the way, to uh, 450 degrees. And as soon as I get this done, I know it looks kind of messy. It's like looking at the inside of a pumpkin, isn't it? But this is the stuff, most of it, you don't have to get rid of all of it, it doesn't matter, it's all going to come out in the end anyway. But now I'm going to take some uh, avocado oil. And just put that in the boat like that and I'm going to massage a little bit the oil all over and I'm just going to drain off the excess like that and I'm going to sprinkle with a little bit of salt and that's your prep. It's pretty straightforward, um, believe it or not. And now I'm going to throw that in the oven. And uh, as I said, 450, which seems high. And I'm going to put place it in the oven on the rack, center rack, face up like that. These two side by side. And let's see what that looks like. All right, so I pulled these out of the oven and I've let them cool for a few minutes. I'm going to put that one away because this is the one we're going to focus on right now. Now, it's important to know that as much as I said I can put the times, this, this was 40 minutes at 400. Eat every squash, like potatoes and everything else, they have different consistencies. So what you want to do is check it. And this is still kind of uh, al dente. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to reheat this later. So I just pull all of this stuff away and I'm going to put this in a bowl. While it's hot, I'm going to take all of this and scrape this into the bowl. This is actually pretty much perfect, uh, even if I do say so myself. I mean, this is gorgeous. But I'm doing this about an hour ahead of service for dinner. Sorry if you can't see everything. Hold on a sec. Because we're adding stuff to it. I should also mention that before I put it in the oven, I cut a little strip off the bottom just so it sits flat. Wow, this is such a beautiful squash. When it comes out right, it's absolutely gorgeous, and this is it. So, do it a little bit al dente. And now you can see why they call it spaghetti squash. Okay? Now I'm going to do the other half. Alright, so I could probably get a little bit more out of here, but for our purposes right now, I'm done. So this is the spaghetti squash, and this is, like I said, a little bit al dente. All you have to do to check it is to stick your finger, or your forefinger, your fork in the side, and if it goes in fork tender, you know it's done, and then you can just continue from there. So now what we're gonna do is throw a little bit of good olive oil in, right? And I've taken some uh, basil 
and I've made a chiffonade out of that, which is a fancy word for um, ribbon. And I'm putting that in all the ingredients and the amounts are in my on my recipe. And I'm taking some tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes. You can use cherry tomatoes, whatever. And then toss this. Tomatoes are raw. That's okay. They're going to cook and soften up a little bit with the uh, spaghetti squash. Now, here's the really cool part. Is you're going to be able to now leave this uncovered for the next hour. And right before you serve it, you take a little bit of uh, balsamic reduction. Right? Put that over top. And then toss it again. Like I said, I would do the balsamic reduction at the last minute. But what you could what you normally would do is wait till the last minute and then heat it in the microwave just for like 30 seconds. And I know that looks not totally appetizing. I'm gonna put the tomatoes up here. But when you serve this in a bowl, like a presentation bowl at the table, the last thing you do is you sprinkle it with well toasted sesame seed, like that. And I'm telling you, there is a bit of a wow factor with that. So again, you can hold this back for uh, half an hour, an hour beforehand, and then reheat it at the last second, and it comes out beautifully. I hope you enjoy.